when it comes to live streaming, sometimes you may experience some video and audio syncing issues. In this video, we're going to walk through some of the basic things that you can check to help fix that issue. Hey folks, this is AJ, the CEO. This is your first time stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I've actually had a couple of churches call me about this recently, and I just wanted to go through some of the basic steps that you can use to try and figure out and fix the issue with your syncing problem. Now, for those who don't know, your syncing problem is when your audio is coming out faster than your video. Ready for that big day, big day, big day. Normally, that's based down to about four things that you can check. One is your internet speed is not fast enough. Two, either your computer is not fast enough. Three, it could be that your settings in your streaming software might be too high or four, it could be that your resolution is just too high. So let's go through just these first simple ways to test this out. So I'm here on OBS, and this is what I happen to use at the churches I deal with. But again, these settings are pretty much similar across no matter whatever streaming software that you use. So number one is, and I had this in the video that I will link up here, is to go through the auto configuration wizard. This will give you the best estimate using OBS to see what your bandwidth is, what resolution, what frames per second, um, just based on your current internet speed as well as the hardware that you have you're trying to stream and it will give you a rough estimate of what it thinks is the best way for you to stream so if we go through here and just run it real quick it will throw out to a connection i'm using caster.com right now just to test it out So based on the configurations, it's saying that I could actually do around a bit rate of 10,000, use hardware encoding with my graphics card, 1080p at 60 frames per second. And it's saying that that's fast enough. My system is fast enough to maintain those settings and run those settings. So you can easily just do click apply and boom, the settings are done. Now, the other thing that you can test is to go here into settings and the opposite of what it just said. So you can always come in here to video and you can change the resolution. You're mainly talking about your output resolution. You can go down. I wouldn't go anything lower than 720p, but if you want to do 1080p, try and drop it down to 30 frames a second. So that's half the amount of Im images that has to be produced and coded and sent up line to your streaming site. Um, than what you normally would if you're doing 30 frames a second. You can always play with some other um, settings. I personally would not go lower than 24. 24 is about what you see on the average frame rate of TV. Now, the other thing, like I said, you could always drop down the max resolution. That's another thing. Now, the other thing I would test out is under output is this is where that kilobits, the bit rate was being changed. Now, as you can see here, I'm using software. Now, if you have a GPU inside of your computer, I would highly recommend that you use the hardware, your GPU, to be the encoder, whether that be NVIDIA, Intel, QuickSync, or AMD, because your graphics card is gonna do a much better job than just your CPU. And it, unless you're playing games, your GPU is not gonna be used anyway, so might as well let it use that. So again, based on my original settings, it was actually suggesting to use hardware and to set this at actually 10,000. So you could always play with these settings. So if you are if you are seeing a syncing issue, you might wanna drop down your bit rate. So the quality might drop a little bit. Um, I would try not to go anything lower than 2,500, but you can always play with these settings. And like I said, try the encoder. Now I'm not gonna get into encoder settings. That's a little bit more advanced. We're just gonna do some of the simpler things right now. All right, now with that being said, if you don't have a GPU 
and you're feeling comfortable about going inside of your computer, you can always get a graphics card. And I actually have a couple of videos here on my channel showing you how to install a graphics card and to see what type of graphics card your computer can handle. Um, you can always try that and now it greatly improve what you're doing. Now, the only other thing after that is your internet speed, and that's depending on your provider. You really want to have a minimum of, it's kinda, I would say if you're gonna do 1080p, try and get nothing less with your upload speed of 30 megabytes per second. You want to, it's not all the way about the download, it's the upload. Um, you can get massive speeds of like one gig download speed, but that means nothing if you have a horrible upload rate. So at my church, we have about 75 download, excuse me, we have 150 download megabytes per second, and we have 50 upload um, which is more than enough for our live stream, even at that rate of 1080p and at 60 frames a second. So that's really it. Really simple things that you can check on your live streaming software. And again, I'm using OBS, but um, live stream studio, vMix, um, OBS stream labs, any um, XSplit, any of those softwares have similar type of settings that you could always check. So if you like this type of content, I would appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ and we will see you on the next video later.